Today in our 2016 Ford F-150 Super Cab, we're going to be installing the Pace Edwards Jackrabbit Tonneau Cover, part number 311-JRF-A06A29. The Pace Edwards Jackrabbit is a great way to protect your truck bed and your gear. It's made with ArmorTech padding that's laminated to aluminum rigid panels, so it gives you hard cover security with a soft cover look. It's easy to operate. It features a one latch release system. We'll drop down our tailgate. We'll be sure and hold on to our pull strap. Turn the latch to the left and the tension springs roll it up for us. It has multiple catches along the rails. This is great for partial loads. The rear plate doubles as a handle and it can be locked in any position, two keys are included. When used in conjunction with a locking tailgate, the whole bed is secure. The whole thing has a flush mounted low profile design. The canister sits inside your truck bed about 11 and a half inches. The rails sit inside your truck bed about two inches. It features a large tailgate seal that sandwiches between to prevent water from getting inside. The whole thing is weather resistant, and since it's made out of aluminum, it's gonna resist rust and corrosion. Now that we've gone over the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. I've gone ahead and unpacked all my parts. I found that it was easiest to install the rails on the tunnel cover assembly on the floor. Then we'll get an extra set of hands and lift it up into the bed to set it in place. To get the rails installed, we'll first want to turn the rails over and remove the protective paper. We're gonna start on the driver's side. We'll wanna make sure we have the correct rail. It's going to have this open notch here at the top. And when it's installed, it's going to face inward. Now what we wanna do is it's got a little lip on the underside here. We're gonna feed that into the channel on our tonneau cover assembly. And we want to make sure that the notched out portion does not go past the beginning of the tunnel cover. So we'll set it in place, vertical like this. Then we want to roll it. Until it fits into place, then we want to feed the tunnel cover partially into the rail. And then we'll push it all the way forward. Once the tonneau cover is partially in the rail, we'll then want to push the rail all the way forward. So it's going to stick out past our tonneau cover assembly. Push it all the way until it stops. So it's going to look like this. And then we can just rest it down. Once the rail is in place, here on the underside, the threaded hole in the rail will align with the open hole on the bottom of the bracket here. We can then take our hardware, it's gonna be a Phillips head screw, a lock washer, and then a flat washer. You'll need to provide your own Phillips head screwdriver. Now we wanna be sure not to over tighten, we just wanna flatten out that lock washer. Perfect, with this side being done, let's go ahead and repeat the same process with the other rail. Now we'll take an extra set of hands lift up the rails and the assembly and set it in place in the truck bed. And the rails should rest on the truck bed rails. Just like that. Now we'll need to close up our tailgate and we need to make sure that our rails are making contact with our tailgate. If they're not, we'll need to pull them back until they are. So we just want a good connection on both sides. Once it's positioned in our truck bed, we can install our clamps. We're gonna need the clamp rail grip and the clamp pivot arm. We're gonna install the clamp rail grip first. And it's gonna be just behind our canister. What we wanna do is we wanna find the open portion underneath our rail on the channel here. We're gonna slide it up into position and then slide it all the way forward until it's just behind this aluminum bracket here. 
Then we'll take the clamp pivot arm and we're gonna position it just behind the rail grip. We'll line up the holes and then we can insert our hardware. It's gonna be one of our four bolts. We'll need to make sure that there is a lock washer on there along with a flat washer. Once we have those on there, we can go ahead and thread that through and get it hand tightened. Once we get it hand tightened, we can go ahead and take a wrench. It's gonna be an 11 millimeter wrench and we can tighten that down. Be sure not to over tighten, just get it nice and snug. Now the tailgate end has a similar setup, so we're just gonna install it the same way. Now we, can now we can repeat the whole process on the opposite side. Now it's time to install our top cover. We we'll wanna make sure that the brush portion of the top cover is gonna be facing towards the inside of the bed. We're gonna line up the hole on each side with the bracket just behind our bulkhead. Once we've got one side lined up, we can take our black Phillips head screw and then thread that in place. Now we don't want to tighten it down all the way just yet. We'll want to be sure and get the other side lined up and then we can tighten it down all the way. With them both loosely installed, we'll then want to make sure that that cover is even with our rails. So we can then just scoot it up, make sure it's even, and then we can tighten it down the rest of the way. Now the next step would be to install our drain tubes. This end here simply snaps in on the underside of our canister. The other end of the hose goes out through an access point in the bed. You can either drill out, or if you've got some grommets you can run it through, you can do that too. But for demonstration purposes, we will not be doing that. Now the kit also includes an adhesive hook and loop strip. Now this can be placed anywhere in your truck bed or on the underside of your rails. And what this is gonna do is it's going to help keep your pull strap out of the way of your cargo. But for demonstration purposes, we will not be installing this either. Once everything's installed, we can go ahead and try it out. So I'll grab my pull strap and then close it shut. Once it's secured here at the end, go ahead and close up our tailgate and we're all set. And that's gonna complete our installation of the Pace Edwards Jackrabbit Tunnel Cover, part number 311-JRFA. 06A29 on our 2016 Ford F-150 Super Cab.